our first stop takes us back to the inaugural year of the Kennedy Half Dollar, 1964. Among the treasures of this year is the 1964 D50C quadruple die obverse error. This unique error occurs when the coin is struck with misaligned dies, resulting in a quadrupled image on the obverse side. The quadrupling is most obvious on the U of Trust and on the right side of the 4 in the date. This variety is known as FS105, or the old FS013.6, according to the Cherry Picker's Guide. This MS65 specimen was sold for $492. 1982 P. Kennedy Half Dollar Missing Initials of Engraver, widely known as No FG Half Dollar. The missing initials are a result of die polishing or excessive die wear, leading to the erasure of the engraver's initials. These coins are considered mint errors and are popular among collectors. While not extremely rare, they are sought after by numismatists due to their unique nature. The value of the no FG variety can vary depending on factors such as the coin's condition, rarity, and demand among collectors. This MS66 specimen ended up selling for $381.88. Moving on with 1977 D. Kennedy half dollar struck on a 40% silver planchet. The standard weight of a silver clad half is 11.50 grams, and the expected weight of a copper nickel clad half is 11.34 grams. The San Francisco Mint struck silver clad bicentennial halves, and several such planchets somehow ended up at the Denver Mint between 1977 D. dies, making them the final 40% silver alloy half dollars. According to Heritage Auctions, the present example has a visible edge that confirms the absence of a copper core. Lightly toned and lustrous with pleasing surfaces and minor peripheral incompleteness of strike. This AU58 specimen ended up selling for $6,600. 1999 P. Kennedy half dollar struck on a copper core and no outer clad layers. Since 1971, Kennedy half struck for commerce have two outer layers of 75% copper and 25% nickel, surrounding a 100% copper core. Rarely, one side of a Kennedy half will be missing one of its clad layers. The error occurs when blanks are cut from the start or end of a clad coinage strip, and one or both ends have a protruding middle copper layer. It is extremely rare for both clad layers to be absent. One diagnostic for such an error is that the peripheries will be softly struck, since the planchet is insufficiently thick to fill the die chamber. This rare specimen was sold for $5,280. 1966 Kennedy half dollar struck on a Washington quarter. Graded in Mint State 65 by NGC. Washington faces south relative to Kennedy's portrait. Portions of In God We Trust from the Undertype are readable on Kennedy's neck. The lightly toned surfaces show minimal marks. It was sold for $3,600. 1971 S. Proof Kennedy half dollar with obverse retained die break, struck in a piece of a die. According to Heritage Auctions, this proof Kennedy half dollar exhibits a sizable retained die break that extends along the obverse border from the 7 in the date to halfway between the Y in Liberty and the second T in Trust. The break extends into the coin to half of the R in Trust, and encompasses the second one in the date. A lower relief extension of the break exhibits a curved border. A fairly sizable piece of a die, gray with a granular texture, is struck into the top of Kennedy's head, between the B and R in Liberty. A much smaller triangular die fragment is struck into the obverse margin at 1030. It was sold for $2,640. And there you have it, a glimpse into the world of error Kennedy half dollars. These valuable errors not only add excitement to the collecting journey but also contribute to the rich history of numismatics. If you've come across any of these errors or have other favorites, share your experiences in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video, God's willing, see you in the next episode.